Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. I'm back, like I said I would, the next week. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Are you proud of me? I'm proud of myself anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so I thought I'd kind of do a little story time of fact that I've got a new job. But yeah, I have a new job guys, as you can probably tell from the title. Um, but yeah, I just kind of thought I'd do a little story time um as to why i've got a new job and stuff like it's nothing bad uh, well it's not really bad from the work side but um yeah so as a few of you may know i moved it's over a year ago i moved from manchester to lancaster um and my job was in bolton um and obviously i was commuting from lancaster to bolton and it's a good like half an hour drive on the motorway if that if like if i get stuck in traffic obviously it's going to be more one second my nan's teacher just texted me so yeah so it was a good like half hour on the motorway um without traffic and nine times out of ten there was always school traffic um and yeah so sometimes i have to sit i had to sit off like an hour early just to get there on time um so yeah so obviously i I was fine like commuting for the time being um but then all petrol prices started going up and I was like ah and I was like literally I was I'm sure petrol's proper like watered down at the moment as well because I used to be like before all this petrol price was going up and everything um I could get to Brighton with a full tank easily and I was only getting two weeks out of work. And I went to, in fact, we went to Leeds one time um, while these petrol prices have gone higher. And Leeds is probably like an hour journey from here. So that's less than Brighton. And it took over half a tank. Brighton's probably about six hours. Someone explain that to me. Anyway, I was topping up my petrol like twice a week, twice a week, twice a month. Um, it was only lasting two weeks at a time a full tank and obviously if it was in a five week month i was topping up again for that last week it was just getting ridiculous and i started to i ended up paying over like 150 pounds a month for just on petrol and obviously i have like i live by myself i have bills to pay and bills have gone up recently and it's just like yeah it was getting to that point where i needed to sort something out i did ask for a transfer to a because I worked at Screwfix, I can say that now because I don't work there anymore. I did ask for a transfer um, to a Screwfix closer to me. And I went even went into the stores to ask. And they all told me that they were just part-time. Even though after that, they actually hired for a full-time position. But it was a supervisor position, which I wasn't trained up to do. And I'd asked multiple times to be trained up. And yeah, that didn't happen anyway. Um, so obviously, I decided that I was going to look for a new job. And I just like, basically I just applied anywhere. Um, I got an interview for a restaurant. It was like joint onto like a hotel. Um, but the hours just weren't the best. They were like evening work. Um, Cause it, it was like a pub as well. It was evening work. And then also it was open at Christmas. So I probably would have had to have work Christmas day. Anyway. The day of the interview for that, because I was still going to go for the interview, the day of the interview for that got cancelled. Um, so yeah, so I didn't actually go to that. So I didn't actually go to it. And then I got a interview at the job that I'm working at now, <laughs> which I'm obviously not going to say where for reasons. And yeah, so I went for that interview and it was actually like it was a pretty chilled interview i was so nervous because i didn't know what to wear um because i've never had an interview for that kind of place before if you will um and yes yeah, so i went for the interview and i was so nervous i ended up just wearing i think it was just like a nice white top and some black jeans and my vans um kind of like cash but smart yeah that's basically what i wore um I can say it was for an optical assistant, but I'm not going to say where. Because there's so many different like optical assistant jobs. Um, so obviously I was a bit nervous because I've only ever done retail and screw fix, which was like different as it was. Um, 
but I've had many interviews before so I'm quite a pro at an interview um so yeah so basically I went for the interview and it was the interview was with the manager and yeah he was really nice and the staff were really nice as well when I was wait I actually got there early um and when I was waiting for my interview to start like I got I got to sit in the waiting room bit and I got talking to some of the like patients there as well and that was really nice because they all seemed really lovely um and yeah I got talking for my interview and it was actually a pretty chilled interview he felt really bad that I was waiting but I was there early so that was my fault um he was in a meeting and he was yeah he just everybody kept coming in and telling him that I was here and stuff <laughs> but yeah the interview went really really well we had such a nice chat and yeah basically he offered me the job there and then I like I kind of had a feeling, feeling he was going to because the interview was going so well um and yeah he literally offered it me there and then and I took it because he seemed nice the team seemed nice and I don't know the interview was just going so well I had a really good feeling about it and yeah so I accepted the job I only give a week's notice in at Screwfix um to be fair I'd only been working there a year and it's like a year per each uh, a week per each year that you work there so I gave I went in the next day I gave my notice in um and yeah and that's what happened I've technically been there three weeks now it would have been four for when you watch this but <clears throat> I obviously ended up getting covid um and was off for a week so technically by the time you've watched this it might, technically sp speaking I've had three weeks there because covid was no fault of my own um and yeah and I actually really love it like it's probably one of the best jobs I've ever started like yeah like everybody's so nice and um there's just so much to learn and I kind of like I get bored when I've learned something and then I just repeat it and repeat it but there's so many different things that I could go into like I could eventually end up being an optician if I really wanted to because there's all so many much different paths or I could be like a pro at contact lenses and stuff like that but there's so much to learn and obviously we, we do other stuff as well which I could go into but yeah I'm absolutely loving it at the moment and it's so much more closer to home like it's only a 10 minute drive and my petrol has been so good this month I've I full t I'm already well to be fair i've been off a week but i think a full tank's gonna last a month so that's gonna be so much more better and a full tank for me at the moment is 60 pounds that is absolutely amazing i still have a cold i still have a cold from when i've had covid still negative so that's all good and i'm so happy because i absolutely love it there and the staff are really nice i thought i would kind of like do a little update on everything because this is the reason why i've not filmed the past few times because Every time I got in from work I was really tired, like I was sick of travelling and um, I was obviously looking for jobs and stuff and I was going for job interviews, even though this was the, technically the first one. I'm still getting phone calls now asking me to go for interviews that I have to keep turning down. But yeah, I just thought I'd kind of do like a little update um, that I got a new job and obviously back from memories. Um, yeah, a little drink tea with me. <laughs> Jokes. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd kind of do this little update because it's like memories looking back on it. Um, yeah, Every, don't get me wrong, everybody at Screwfix is so nice. Like, yeah, like I will, I know I've got friends for life there. Um, and that's the reason why we went out for a leaving do is because obviously I left and then we all caught COVID. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're all fine. It's, it's all good. Um. But yeah, I've, I've honestly, I've made friends for life and that's that's when you know you've got a good job because like you all get on, you all like a little family and I feel like that's what it's like at my new job as well. We all get on, it's all good and yeah, I just thought 
I would update that. And I love it. So I'm really happy. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd kind of make this little video just to kind of update all of you guys who have been watching my videos from the start. And yeah, I'm so excited because now I've got more time to actually like film a video for you. Um, I'm not going to be getting in at stupid o'clock because it's taken me an hour to get home because there's been roadworks or there's been like an accident on the motorway. And because I used to finish the work at like eight o'clock at Screwfix, I wouldn't get home till like half eight, nine, if that. And I'd want to just like go home, have tea and get into bed because I was always so tired. Um, the only time really that I probably would have had time to film is if I did a 7-3 and that was very rare that I actually did a 7-3. The only time that I actually properly like every week do a 7-3 was the day that I had dancing um, on a Thursday and I'd go straight to my mum and dad's from there so I obviously didn't have time to film and then I'd come back and I'd get, I think I'd finished dancing at about 10-ish and I'd get home for like near 11 and I'd just want to go to bed and get back up again for the next day. Um, yeah it was just ridiculous like I'm so much more happier in this job that I am now and also like I'm not as tired that's like one of the things that was annoying me like I always just wanted to like do nothing um now I've actually got time to do things and I'm not actually feeling as tired as I used to um so that's always a bonus like it was just taking it out of me basically and yeah I'm so much more happier like my mum and my dad and my sister have all seen that I'm so much more happier in this job um and I think sometimes it just gets to a point like you just have to think of yourself rather than others and I, I'm one of them people that I like I felt bad when I hadn't been noticing and I felt bad going for interviews because that's just the kind of person I am but sometimes you just need to kind of step step back from that situation and think of your what you need like sometimes you need to be selfish and think of yourself and yeah like everybody at work understood they were all saying that I needed to think of me rather than them and I needed to do what was best for me basically so that is why I decided because I've never ever like I've never quit a job I've never handed my notice in that's the first time I've ever done that I've always waited like I've always been there that long that I've been made redundant to, at that point because I've been made redundant three times guys um and yeah, that's the first time I've ever actually like stepped away, thought to myself, what's best for me? And even though I liked that job, I had to think about me and like my health, if you'd say. I don't remember that's class as health because I was always tired. Um, but I had to sit, take a step back, think of me and do what was best for me. And it was like nerve wracking. Like I was so nervous handing a notice in because I'd never had to do it before. I've always been made redundant like I said um but I'm so happy I've done it and I'm really happy in my new job and hopefully it takes me places I'm pretty sure it will um but yeah there's so much training I can do and it'll actually give me a career out of it rather than me be like oh my god I'm just so glad though that they've actually like took the time to actually take me on because no normally places that aren't like retail um or I was like, oh, you need experience, but how are you going to get experience if they're not going to teach you it? Like, that's always one thing that's irritated me. But yeah, so it's on to new memories in a new workplace and I'm really happy about it. So yeah, that's my little story time and little update I have for you guys. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you've ever took a plunge and quit your job and done what's best for you, basically. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below if you like this kind of style of video. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week in another video. Bye.